Okay, we're on the last one here before we wrap everything up. If you want a design to slow down overpopulation, what should your priorities be? You might be surprised. Better birth control is obviously one way of slowing birth rates, but as this chart shows, quadrupling availability, the blue line, may only lower birth rate a few percent, the red line. A far more effective tool is cities. This chart is just for Africa, but generalizes to much of the developing world. The orange bars are rural birth rates, the peach bars are slums, and the gray bars are the middle class or better parts of cities. You can see that getting people into cities with jobs can cut population growth by half sometimes. That's less true in richer countries where agriculture is mechanized, but it still helps. And just as effective or more is empowering women with education, economic self-determination, and political and social equality. Here, data from around the world shows that just the difference between a high school education and no education can cut population growth by half, sometimes even more. So, if you want to help reduce overpopulation, here are your priorities. They're mostly social rather than technical design solutions. Be aware, though, that this is not as big a control knob as you might think for improving environmental sustainability. Birth rates are already slowing down, especially in rich countries, and great products or services might bring it down a few more percent, as opposed to things like greenhouse gas emissions or resource use, where great products or services can reduce them 80 or 90 percent. Still, this is valuable stuff to think about.